Welcome back, everybody. Guys, hope you're all having a great morning. Um, if you're pulling for this double legendary from Sacred Shards, hopefully you actually saved your shards until today and are pulling it and you hit your legendary and you get something amazing. Let's see what people have gotten today so far. We've gotten a Glacea plus Hawkorn. Okay, not really something I would like, but maybe it's okay for some people. A Robar plus Oella. Really something I'd prefer to dodge as well. Let's see if we have any like Roto Michinaki. Hey, I would love an extra Michinaki for sure. Uh, I'm looking for like Rodos and Harima, you know, maybe a Duchess, um, a pack right there to be offered. Let's see what we got going on for the Sacred Shards. So, for the champions have boosted, I think I'm going to go Duchess plus Ugo, same thing I did yesterday. To be honest, I really don't expect to hit anything from this 15x. But if I did, actually, let me see, because I may need some stuff for Night Rev's dupes, actually. So, eight out actually, I'm going to go... Yep, I'm going to change this up. I got a different plan now. So instead of that, I'm going to go Ancora plus Ugo. Because if I was to get an extra Ancora, while I would like to possibly build her, not for sure if I really would or not, but nonetheless, I would have an extra 10 speed for my Georgid. And I'd have extra 10 speed for Ancora. I'd have extra 10 speed for uh, Narcis. So I have a lot of Night Revs champions I'd use, even Eryx for the Spider Solo stuff. So this is actually a really good faction to have plus 10 speed for. And since I'm so close there anyways, if I was to get a champion from the 15X, it's either plus one Duchess or plus 10 speed for Faction Wars, or for the entire Night Rose faction, I'm going to go for that. So we got nine Sacred Shards today. If I pull them all, I'll more than finish out this event, I believe. Summon Rush, let's make sure. I need at least to get these, but it shouldn't be any problem whatsoever. I think I need to pull four for that, I guess. About somewhere around there, but I'm going to probably pull them all, to be honest. I would love to get some Legendary Books, Mythical Tomes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go that far, but either way... Non-sacreds, can we have some magic happening? Can I get a legendary champion in these nine sacreds? Number one, let's go ahead and see a legendary right off the bat. That would be amazing. Okay, we got an epic. We're starting off with an epic champion. Um, Farsalis, eh, don't care about him. We're not going to be using him today. Or anytime soon, to be honest. Ugo, so 15x, is working indeed. Which, for epic champions, it's good. I mean, it's not too bad. You should hit your epic champion boosted rates. And Ugo's an amazing champion. Neldor. I actually don't have this champion, I don't think. I did use him yesterday on the account takeover series that I'm doing. Basically, one account, massive takeover, doing basically every area of the game. But we use Neldor in Fire Knight. Granted, he does have Cardiel, Neldor, Newt, Creoden, and Martyr. So it's a pretty high-end team. But we were having trouble managing the turn meter, getting the Newt back around because of his speeds. So having Neldor in the team actually worked out very well. The A3 is a double hit decrease speed. The A2 we actually turned it off. And then the A1 is a, is a freeze, but his passive gives him a chance to join in on ally attacks whenever they place the freeze. So very cool stuff. Very good champion. I may actually go lock him real quick because if not, I may actually feed him. I don't love feeding these champions by accident. So Neldor, uh, I think it's my first copy. Very cool stuff. Let me. See. I may even have a blessing for him. He is locked. Let's do this. Do that real quick. Um, I don't think I have any blessings for him. I really don't want to keep getting distracted like this, but... Neldor. If you guys see him, leave it in the comment section below, but I don't think I do. So we do have some stuff for Sentinel, which I need to pull a Sentinel eventually from Ancients because Centron. Oh, there we go. Lego. All oh, 10. Ha <laughs> ha. What? Did I? What? Did I miss this event too? What time did this thing start? Ready to celebrate fifth anniversary? I s oh my goodness. I thought it was it's literally Saturday. Today's Saturday. I specifically didn't open it yesterday. Let me see. Here's the schedule. Oh my gosh. I'm joining the batch of content creators who are all pulling this at the wrong time. Uh from two twenty UTC Saturday to March 9th. Wait, wait. From a limited time from 20 UTC Saturday, March 9th, to 8 UTC Monday. March 11th, today's March 9th, today, let's see, what is, what's going on here? So, what is, what is 20 UTC to EST? 3 p.m., why, why player are you making this at 3 p.m.? What in the world? It's 10 o'clock currently. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I did that. That is ridiculous. I should have checked to see if this obviously said the boosted rates. That is horrible. However, now I get the boosted. And now I'm in the same boats as Nubs, basically. <laughs> I pull my shards. I thought I was going to dodge that. That's unfortunate. So 
I'm gonna I'm gonna just wait till later on, pull my five sacreds because I need to finish up this event anyways. All right, guys. So it's a few hours later. I'm back. You didn't even know I was gone, but now we should have two events going down. Look, this is like one of those tests that you're given in school where it's like a huge long paragraph, and somewhere hidden in there it says um, return this paper unfilled out or whatever. And uh, yeah, me as well as a lot of other people failed that test because we all pulled the sacred shards before the extra legendary event went on. Thankfully, I lucked out and I have seven sacred shards now. I did purchase a few, but either way, neither here nor there. I There's a pretty decent offer. But besides that, we have some shards to pull for Ancora. 15x currently, so currently on 20x. So let's see if I get lucky. I got all 10 from four shards. I'm more than lucked out getting all 10 so quick. Very thankful for that. So we're going to go ahead and try to finish this up towards the end. And well, try to finish this up pretty quickly, hopefully. There we go. Wow, I got so lucky. Artak, dude, that is so good. Now what do we get after this? Man, I guess player M's coming through for my birthday. Let's get Ancora. Okay. Yo, Teodor as well. <laughs> okay. Um, this is actually incredible. I don't have Teodor. My first copy of him. Honestly, I'm more than amazed that that actually worked. I kind of want to pull another Sacred Shard or two, to be honest. We got this. Should I go for this? I think it's two Sacred Shards. Feeling pretty daggone good. That Artak pull is super sweet. Let's go to um, Faction Guardians. Orcs. I do oh, that's very nice because, well, uh, kind of. I mean, T uh, uh, Artak isn't what he used to be for me necessarily. I mean, he's doing Ice Golem hard solo. I don't really need his gear higher than it is. Like, his 5-star blessing really carries him through a lot of this stuff. Uh, took his gloves off earlier for Nishak and his helmet as well. But his stats aren't nearly as hard to hit as they were before. But maybe I could make him do stage 10 hard solo? I don't know. Either way, let's pull two more Sacreds. I mean, we're getting really good luck. I'm going to go ahead and pick this Legendary Tome, I guess. I mean... Honestly, I'm more than impressed with the luck that's going on right now. Let me make sure it's two more sacreds. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, no, I need like three or four more. Uh, my math is horrible, I guess. So not only is my test failed for reading, but it's also failed for math. So I need another sacred and I think a few more ancients. Let's go ahead and do another sacred. I may do two more. I really want Ancora, honestly. I really want another Ancora because the Night Rev's dupes would be so sweet. Uh, let's go one more. One more sacred. I'm done. This is it because there's going to be heroes paths, all this kind of stuff coming up. Can't do no more sacreds. I'm done. It is no more. Um, just bad idea if I continue to pull. Let's see how far I am from this legendary tome. There we go. Now, look, I'm about to get another legendary tome. We are, let's see, 57. So 200 points away. 200 points would be what? Two temples of ancients, maybe? I think something like that. Um, I kind of want to go ahead and do that. How many, how many voids is that? It's a few voids. I could go Arbiter... Um, actually, let's see. So I do want to go ahead and finish that out. I mean, picking the Legendary Tome is going to be a nice thing. Man, I'm getting sweaty. I guess the pre-workout that's in my system hasn't worn off completely yet, and it's not that hot in my basement. I don't know, guys. Getting worked up or something. But 700, I need 200 points. Oh, just a Prism Shard. Perfect. So we'll pull one Prism. Maybe get Ancora there. It'd be kind of cool as well. Hey, let's see. Summon one. I've got no Mythical Champions yet, so maybe I could get lucky there. Okay, just, <laughs> just a rare. What a surprise, guys. But... Very cool pulls. Okay. So, didn't get Ancora. I could go for some more sacred pulls, but to be honest, I don't think I really want to do that. I, mean, I could go two more sacreds and get Mythical Tome. Do I do that? That puts me in a weird spot for the path, right? Does it, though? Two sacreds? Really? Is it going to do that much? I mean, Mythical Tomes, I don't have very many, do I? I got three. Ah, I think I do, guys. I think I, I, think I could go. I have to go, right? No, no legendary there. It's okay. It's all right. Even if I don't get anything here, it's fine. I'm going to get Mythical Tome. And I really need those when I can get them, honestly. No gold. What I expected, honestly. But ended up with some really good champs in general. I mean, now we're a little bit... Well, Mercy for Sacreds is irrelevant. Nobody cares about that. Um, Feast, 500 points. Don't really need that. The Mythical Tome, though, is something I kind of need. Honestly, Makage is missing some books. Uh, her A2... Doesn't matter, and her A1 doesn't matter, but her next skill, her next form, this is missing a book. It's the only thing that's missing a book. So I may actually book that up during CVC or something. I don't really care about this too much, but we'll see. Either way, guys, I'm super excited for that. Hopefully, you had some excellent luck as well. Hopefully, you actually pulled your champs at the correct time. Now, with that said, I wonder what I'm going to do with my Teodor now. That's pretty sweet. So I got Teodor. 
and I am recording. I was wor worried if I was recording this video or not, but I did get Teodor, which is super exciting. I mean, it's, it's going to be fun. Uh, I'm not for sure where I'm going to use him, though, because the areas he's used now isn't as much as what I would have in the past, but somebody was asking if he could solo... I think he can do Dragon 9 hard, which, to be honest, I may just use him for 9 hard, because he does it... No, no, no. 7 hard? I don't know. Dragon 9? No, because that's uh, Spirit Affinity. Because he can still get crit. Um, he's... Compared to Nishak, my Nishak's boosted up, so I'm just going to keep Nishak for that. I could use Teo for... I could use him for... Let's think. Spider? Don't need him for Dragon. Don't need him for Fire Knight. He's a cool new champion, but I'm not really sure I'd use him, honestly. Not for sure where I would use him. Let me know, guys, where you use him. Interesting champion for sure. Artak dupe is, is super cool. I mean, I need Orc Faction Guardian, so... And Artak's a great one. I could empower him. Speaking of, if I was to empower him, what would that, what would that give him? So empowerment of Artak would give him 10% HP, attack, defense, accuracy, and resistance. So I don't like empowering champions, though, before I get to the full faction guardian. So either way, guys, excited for that. I'm more than happy with what I got. I'm fine with going for the extra sacred shards and actually getting some rush complete. Basically, for the upcoming Hero's Path, I should be okay in shards. Promo shards specifically should be worth a decent amount. I do have some soul stones saved, spent, bought, whatever, however you want to call it. Um, but I have the Eternal Soul Stones, so they should be pretty valuable. If I mean, it's going to be a Soul Stone plus Shard event. Maybe I get some more from Clan Boss before then. Either way, my clan's looking for some more members, guys. We're at 26 out of 30. If you're hitting Hydra, you want to do some stuff in CVC, apply in-game, message me on Discord, we can get you in for sure before next CVC starts or next Hydra, ideally. Either way, guys, thank you all for watching. I love and appreciate all of you so much. And... I'll catch you in the next video.